Hey guys, welcome to this video. My name is Kat. As always, thank you for stopping in. Today we did kind of a winner's TJ Maxx Marshalls haul. So I went actually yesterday so we can roll some of that footage now. Hey guys, welcome to today's video. My name is Kat. As always, thank you for stopping in. Today we are going to do a little Marshalls winner's TJ Maxx run. I feel like I need to go out and do some shopping just for myself. So that's what we're going to do. And those that know me really well know that I love a good sale, love a good discount. Wow, where's that light going? Hello. Just blown out of proportion. Um, love a good sale, love a good uh, deal discount. So we're gonna go to um, Winners, maybe Marshalls, you know, that kind of store, so let's go. Beauty blenders. I like these ones. I like these Urban Studio ones with the tapered ends. So I think I'm gonna grab that. Look at how cute these are. I think I'm gonna get them too. So I got a little bit of everything. I got some beauty supplies. I got some kids stuff. I got some clothes. I got, you know, I kind of just did a complete tour of the space. If you follow me on Instagram, shameless plug here, you'll notice I spend a lot of time at the lake in the summertime. I do a, a ton of boating, whether it's fishing or tubing or wakeboarding or whatever. I'm always on the boat. So I got um, a couple of things for the summertime, anticipating the beautiful weather coming up. I got this Roxy tank top. These normally are um, like $28, $30 in the store. So I got this tank top for um, $12.99. It says compared to $20, but I bought them at $30 before. It's kind of in this nice salmon. I got it in a large. They did have mediums there, but I like it a little bit baggier um, on the boat. Just that's how I like to roll in the summertime, loose and cool, you know what I mean? So yeah, but it is Roxy. And I'm always into having new uh, beach clothes. For, so for those late nights around the campfire, I always like to have a sweater. So I picked this one up. It's from the brand 525, which I've never heard of before. It's this, um, it's kind of this knit material. It looks to be warm, but not too suffocating, which I really quite like. So yeah, 525, it's in the size medium. It was regularly 138 bucks and I got it for $39.99, so I think I got a steal of a deal there. Yeah, I always like a good hoodie because, you know, that's where you lose a lot of your warmth is from your head, so pick that little guy up. I also got a tank for my daughter. She does not know yet, so hopefully she doesn't watch this video, but it's a Roxy tank top and it's the Disney collab. It's got the little seashells on it. Pick this little guy up for, $7.99, it was regularly $22 American. It is the Roxy Disney collab. So I think this is the Little Mermaid, obviously, with the seashells, but isn't that adorable? I always think if you can get kids clothes at a cheaper price, it's better in the long run because they grow to them so fast. So another thing I got for Little Red, oh, I just dropped it. So another thing I got for Little Red were these slippers and she's already worn them once because she found them in the bag. But they are the TY um, Little Slippers and these are obviously Little Huskies but they have the reversible sequins on them. These were on sale for, they were on Red Tag for like nine bucks so I had to pick them up. How cute are they? So the next thing I got, I got a bunch of beauty supplies just because I find that if I can, I feel better, I guess, if I buy them at a cheaper price, then I don't feel so bad if I buy a few things, if you know what I mean, like that's just how I roll. So anyway, um, in the footage, obviously you saw there was a bunch of makeup products there this time around. Sometimes it's very sparse, sometimes they have a lot, but a lot of times they don't have my color or my shade or things I like. So I was very fortunate this time around to find Dun, 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 dun. The Rock Por Perfection. The Rock Perfection Foundation. 
And this one's in the Golden Beige, Golden Beige PR 4.5. And I got it for $9.99. You guys, I got a steal of a deal on this. I always, in the store, I am this person, by the way. If when I go to TJ Maxx, Winners, Marshalls, that kind of brand of companies, I always open the box to make sure it hasn't been separated. In the footage, you notice that there was some separated um, foundations I found. So this, and I know this um, product has been around for a while. However, I loved it when it first came out. And so when I saw it again, I'm like, oh my God, it brought back like a really good flashback. But it is basically my exact color. Sometimes I have to mix foundations because my skin color is kind of weird. It's not this color, it's not that color. It's always in between, so I'm always mixing. But this is the closest one I've ever found to my actual skin color. So I um, was super happy I found that. Another thing I found was the Urban Studio Blending Sponge. These ones are latex free. This one's five bucks. I like these ones because they've got the tapered end on them. They've got the tapered end on them and they do puff up quite a bit once you get them wet. And the tapered end is really nice for just going underneath the eyes. So that's why I like that tapered end. They did have beauty blenders there again this time around. However, I'm like, do I spend $30 on a makeup sponge that I'm just gonna throw it in a little bit because it's gonna get gross and dirty or do I spend $5 and get other stuff? We chose to spend five dollars and get other stuff. This I never ever find at a discount store, but for some reason the makeup gods were there today. I found Smashbox Photo Finish Smooth and Blur, the best primer ever. Well, I like this one, and I I do like the Perfection one from Benefit, I guess. But this is one of my favorites. Um, I got this one for twenty bucks regularly. It's about forty bucks uh, where I live, and this is one of my favorites. I do have one fairly new that I already have opened, obviously. But um, I found this guy, and so I had to pick him up to kind of have him in my little stash. So next thing I found were the Cala 3D Faux Mink uh, Weightless Volume Lashes in Nova. They're multi-dimensional -dim lashes by Cala. They were four bucks. They, these ones are kind of good for like every day. I keep my kind of more expensive ones for like going out. But these ones I quite like. They're wispy, they're light. I've used them before, not this pack, but I've used this brand. I have used this brand before, and so I'm hoping that these ones are identical to the other brand because I really enjoyed them then. Um, they are cruelty free, so that is super awesome, multi-dimensional. Just it's a good place to go digging around for some lashes. lashes. They did have a whole bunch of Ardells there as well. I just didn't need any more Ardells because I have a stack at the moment. These are super cute, and I found these, and I, I did open them just to feel them in the store, but I haven't actually had a look at them. These are the Vintage Cosmetic Company Reusable um, Makeup Cloths and they are just so cute. I've never heard of this company before, but it does say it was, it's a British brand, it's cruelty-free, cruelty and the um, packaging is recyclable, so that is super awesome. I just thought these were so cute. Look at those makeup, makeup wipes. If you follow me on Instagram, I do a lot of um, like skincare, skincare routine stuff, so I, when I saw these, I and mean, the aesthetic are amazing, um, I thought I'd pick them up. They were only like $5.99, so six bucks. It says use this side to exfoliate, so this side is just a touch rougher, not rough at all, but just a little bit rough um, compared to this more microfibery side, so I'm super excited to use those. Plus, who doesn't like stars, you guys? The next thing I bought were some new facial razors. Mine are starting to go dull. A great place to get them is TJ Maxx winners, that kind of place. I got the eight pack for $7.99, so a dollar a piece. Um, yeah, I just, a person always needs these and mine are starting to go dull, like it's ow, So I, um, I had to get some new ones, so I got them there. I did pick up some essential oil when I was there as well. They had a huge selection this time around of essential oil. I'm not one of those people that has rows and rows and rows of essential oil for the diffusers. I'm not like, I, I don't mix, I don't do anything like that, but I, um, I do have some diffusers. So I got the Sensuals 100% essential oil in eucalyptus. I like eucalyptus, I like cedarwood, I like teakwood, I like the more natural smells. So um, I've had this brown before, I do like them. Um, as I said, I'm not one of the essential oil snobs, so enlighten me down in the comments, I guess. But yeah, so that was only seven bucks, so I figured that was um, a pretty good deal considering they can get pretty pricey. So I actually bought this next item for my husband. He uses the little floss picks for like flossing his teeth, but they are plastic and they're not biodegradable, so therefore they're not super good for the environment. So I bought him the Bamboo Charcoal, Tark Oil, 
I bought him some bamboo charcoal cornstarch floss picks for $6.99. Um, they say they are cornstarch handles, so they're 100% biodegradable, free of PFAS, and um, they do not have a nylon. Also, the packaging is vegan, which you can kind of feel from the, um, the crunchiness of this. So that I, I really respect that. I really, I really appreciate companies that do that. Mm, they smell like mint. So this is what they look like. If you're curious, you can get them on Amazon. You can get them at the dollar twenty-five store, but they're all plastic. So I figured um, we would try some bamboo versions of them. I do have bamboo toothbrushes for when I travel, just in case A, if I forget them, or B, I don't feel so bad throwing them out when I'm done with them because they are biodegradable. So those are things I always like to try to do for the environment because this is the world we live in. So that's it for today's video, you guys. My name's Kat, as always, thank you for stopping in. Don't forget to subscribe, give me a like, hit the little bell for notifications, and leave me a comment down below. We'll see you guys again soon.